Hey guys, okay, so I look like a really hot mess right now, but um, I'm basically gonna fix this hot mess right now. Um, I went to the salon and this is what they did with my hair. Um, I asked for an ombre, but um, she just, she spent the whole time trying to take out all the red tones in my hair. So that's why I'm like practically all blonde. Even in the back, as you guys can see, and I don't really like it. You can kind of see the ombre if I go like this, which is how it's dark Charlie. and then light. At the bottom, this is how my hair looks like with one process of the bleach that I showed you guys in my other clip. But um, I'm gonna fix this today, and hopefully, this is the last time I'll be fixing my hair because I spent about fifty dollars at Sally today, and that was not popping. But yeah, um, I'll show you guys everything that I used. I'll list it below and all that good stuff. So yeah, this is what it looks like. But I'm like pretty much blonde all over, and I don't like it. So I'm gonna fix that. Okay, bye guys. Okay, so for my base color, I use this Wella charm. It's called 4R um, 356 Cinnamon Brown. And um, with that, I used the Wella charm cream developer in level, I think this is 20, right? Yeah, level 20. And then with the same developer, I used, for my lighter brown part of my hair, I used this color, which is 5. 54 6RG light copper and that's going to be my lighter brown and again I use the same uh, level 20 um, a developer and then for my blonde pieces I'm going to use the again L'Oreal quick blue and then I'm using the Sloan 40 uh, lift cream and if you guys are wondering when you're when you buy dyes from you know Sally's or whatever and you mix it with a developer. This is kind of the consistency that you want. You don't want it to be too liquidy, but not too thick at the same time. But yeah, that's about it. Bye. Hey everyone. Okay, so I'm sorry I have to film this part of the video with my MacBook. It's just I'm really lazy right now and I really don't want to set up my camera and yeah. And this is actually pretty good quality because the lighting is amazing in my room. As you guys can see, I'm back in my old room um, back home. So yeah. Um, so, I'm sorry, I have been totally MIA these past couple of weeks. Um, I had finals two weeks ago, and then I had to pack all my stuff and move back home for the month. So, it was just really, really hectic, and my finals it was really do or die, like, for real. Because, um, at my school, the way it works out is that you can go in to the final with an A, B, C, passing, basically, and you can totally fail the final and fail the class. Or, you could totally fail the class going into the final and get an A on the final and get an A in the class. So, it was really do or die. I was really stressed out and I didn't, I was just, I was just not in the proper mood to do anything. So, that's why I've, I have, and I was sick the week before finals too, so, it was just horrible. But anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, so as you guys can see, I changed up my hair. Um, I didn't straighten it or anything today. That's why it's hella bumpy. But anyways, um, yeah, I changed up my hair. And as you guys can see, I don't have any highlights anymore. Um, every single year, I change up my hair. Um, I've done this since high school, freshman year high school. Um, I do this thing where I change up my hair um, either at the end of December or January. And it just kind of represents like a whole new year, a whole new me type of thing. So... Um, yeah, the thing is that with, um, my previous hairdos is that it was so high maintenance, like, highlights are so hard to upkeep, because you can really see the root, so, yeah, I just, I had to get my hair done, like, all the time, and I really wanted something that was kind of on the natural side of the spectrum, but still kind of edgy, because I, because with this hair, I only have to touch up my roots, so it's not a big deal, but with my other hair, I had to touch up my roots, I had to touch up the base color, like, it was just not fun, so, now I just have to touch up my roots and it's not as frequent when I have to dye my hair. Um, but yeah, anyways, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, so um, as you guys can see, my hair is a dark brown at the root and in the back. And then it goes to a copper and then a platinum blonde. And the blonde is actually pretty prominent in my hair because I really wanted the blonde to show up in my hair just because that's just how I roll. I just, if I'm doing something, I really want people to see it. So that's why I dyed my hair pretty much blonde this whole entire part anyways um okay so how did I do how did I how did my hair get to this because I know you guys seen previous videos of my hair before I got it dyed after I got it dyed and then me processing my hair when I fixed it um basically when I went to the hairdresser I told her that I wanted to do an ombre and she was just like that's kind of impossible because my hair has been processed so many times with red dye with highlighter it's just 
everything's just everywhere and it's just really hard to get everything uniform so basically what she did was she bleached my whole head and then she just toned everything to blend it all together and she did give it an ombre effect but it was just way too blonde for me so I did not like it um so I ended up fixing it with my cousin she helped me out and what we did was we got we we used all Wella products I'll list them all below um we used Wella products so what I did was I just dyed my hair um cinnamon cinnamon brown I think it was called a light copper and then I just bleached the chips again and um after that I just toned everything together so it would be a lot more seamless as you guys can see everything kind of just blends in with each other even though they're very contrasty colors so the major thing with ombre hair is that you have to tone it because it is it looks a lot better and it looks a lot more smooth um the thing is is that I toned this side but I forgot to tone this side so as you guys can see there is a line right there so but it'll just gradually fade as I wash my hair so it's not a big deal um so yeah I don't know what else to say um as far as getting it done versus going to the salon or doing it yourself versus going to the salon um if you guys have virgin hair you can easily do it yourself just get bleach um developer and um more bleach because <laughs> you really need to bleach it a lot if you want it to stand out from the blonde to the medium brown to whatever hair color you have um but yeah what else i have to say about that but yeah if your hair has been processed a lot i suggest getting it done um but yeah i had to go through a lot of bullshit to get to where my hair is today which kind of sucks but I'm glad it's done with, and I'm happy the way it turned out. It's a lot more boho than what I'm used to, because, like, my other highlights were kind of more edgy. Um, I've had variations of highlights for the past three years. I really wanted something different, but, yeah. So, I opted for this, and I thought it was really, really cool, and it still looks very, very edgy. It looks super cool when I curl it, because it's, like, or when I braid it, it looks really cool. But, anyways, if you guys have any questions about what products I use, how I did it, Blah, blah blah leave it below and I'm sorry I didn't get to do holiday tutorials it's just I've been super busy with school my family and just everything else that I had no time to record holiday tutorials but hopefully I can do that next year um it's just this year was just really really hectic and I'm really really sorry and expect a big haul from me after Christmas and um I'll try to keep you guys updated on my outfits and whatnot if you guys don't know already my blog um I'll list it here as well as down below on the description box but I basically update you guys on that versus here because these are videos and if I want to post a video I want it to be very informational so if you go to my blog, um, I post every other day. I try to post every every week. Um, I post things that I buy online. I post um, just different stuff. I post of the day. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great Christmas and a happy new year if I don't, for some reason, don't get to film. Um, but for sure, I will get on filming again when I get back to Southern California. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, ombre hair talk video but yeah i'll talk to you guys soon bye